Yo, so, uh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna tell you guys the story of my first time, my first time eating the box. Now, if you guys don't know what eating the box is, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know because I see 12 year olds beating their meat, so <laughs> hold up. I don't technically see 12 year olds beating their meat. I hear about on YouTube how they whipping out their penis for Harambe, so I'm guaranteed they're beating their meat to something. You feel me? You can't just be whipping out your penis and don't beat your meat. You feel me? Like, that's just. You know what I'm saying? You gotta beat your meat if you whip out your penis. That's just, you know, common sense, fool. So, uh, yeah, don't try to stick me with no damn... The hell was that? Don't try to stick me with no damn sexual, uh, somethings, alright? So this is how it all went down. I was with my first girlfriend at the time, and, um... This was two days after Christmas, so this is like my Christmas present. This is my first time losing my virginity as well. I ain't never telling that story unless I get, like, at least... You know what I'm saying? 250,000 subscribers. I'll tell y'all the story how I lost my virginity. But for now, I'm going to tell you the story how your boy ate the box, son. The box. So before I ate all that, no. <laughs> so before the story took place, I asked my brother-in-law. I was like, yo, I'm about to lose my virginity soon. I need some advice on what to do. Now, this is what he told me. He was like, once you do that, my nigga, she always going to be yours, B. You know what I'm saying? Once you do that, son, you feel me, B? Once you do that, son, you always gonna be yours, son. Always, nigga. But make sure you do it, you know what I'm saying, correctly. Because if you don't, my nigga, she gonna look at you like a joke, son. And I was like, I ain't no joke. I'm, I'm straight up, B. I ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? When I eat the nigga, when I go down low, nigga, I'm going down low, nigga. That ain't technically how the story went, but he just told me, like, yo, if you eat the girl's vagina, she's gonna get attached. So make sure this, this is the girl you want to be attached to you. Because once you do that, nigga, you open her a whole thing of just juices and you, you she get this uh, emotional state of one of the, I don't, hey, hey, I can't really explain it right now, but if you got a girlfriend and, you know what I'm saying, you haven't ate her box yet, my nigga, if you, if you want this girl to be your wife, you better eat her walls, nigga. So after I got advice from him, I talked to my sister and my sister's like, don't you be doing that, you know, so you better be hunching with a condom, you better have a condom on, cause if you get a girl and I was like, and I was like, and I was like, <laughs> true, cause your boy can't even raise himself, nigga, I'm broke. I can't take care of you. You know what I'm saying? So I got to strap my mizzy. <laughs> so let's get into the story, right? So it was at my grandma's house. We are in front of my grandma's house, and right, and it was in the car, we were making out, we were going at it and everything. It was like, we were making out. It was like the day after Christmas, nigga, we were just, I was grabbing some little Mexican butt cheese, you know what I'm saying? She would grab my Harambe balls, you feel me? Cause your boy got them. <laughs> I'm just playing. My ball smile. So we was getting into it, man. We was going at it. And then she hit me with the, I don't want to do it right here. No, no, no. I don't want to do it. No, not right here. Let's do it, you know, some other time when I'm in my bed. I don't want to do it in my car. And I was like, you know what? You right, B. You right, son. You know what I'm saying? When I'm in your walls, and I want to be rocking the bed. You feel me? I don't want to rock no damn car seat, Oh, Let me rock the bed. So the next night out, she came and picked me up from my grandma's crib -o. You know what I'm saying? We back to her crib -o. So I went to her house, you know what I'm saying? I kissed her on the neck, you know what I'm saying? We doing what we doing. And then the first thing I did was, nigga, I went down low, B. You know what I'm saying? Your boy, nigga, look, my first time, I was scared. I kept hearing someone like, oh, man, coochie stink, man. Don't eat that girl, bug. Nigga, you better off eating the booty, nigga. How could you smell like dry top? Tacos, nigga, don't do it, nigga, don't do it, nigga. But look, man, I wanted to please my woman at the time, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? I got to do what it do, you know what I'm saying? She want me to eat a boot, I would eat the boot, but I never ate the boot. So I opened up her legs, I went in, and I was munching, nigga, I went to town. When I tell you I went to town, nigga, I went to town, nigga, I was like, <sighs> nigga, I felt like Predator of Aliens versus Predator, nigga, I was <gasps> I was, bro, I got lost in the shops Cause your boy was in them jeans like Maybelline I mean, I didn't really go together, but yo, I was I was in the walls And uh, she said I did a very great job I got my A+, I got my star 
And uh, that's it. That's pretty much the story, baby. You know what I'm saying? She said she had a great time. That's all that happened to me. You feel me? I just want to let y'all know how it went. She said it was good. You know what I'm saying? Ain't you know what the crazy thing about it was? I was doing it most of the time we were having sex. I, I couldn't find a hole first. I couldn't find the damn hole. I was a virgin, nigga. I ain't know anything about finding. I thought the pee hole was a vagina hole, nigga. I'm 17. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So after me eating the box for like an hour and a half, it's like four o'clock in the morning. She picked me up late night, so it's like four o'clock in the morning. Her friend come in the room, lay in the bed, and I'm still going to town, son. And before you ask no I did not have a threesome with the friend it was just me and my boo thing I was giving her head and you feel me and her friend was like oh Percy get it get it my nigga get it and your boy got it so after that she took me home and I told my mom like mom something happened I finally lost my virginity you like oh, my baby my baby my mom was happy for me like it, it was it was like one of the best mom and son experiences I've ever had. I'm telling my mom I lost my virginity. She, she, it was awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much the story. So listen up, guys. If you have a girlfriend, you better eat your girl's vagina, nigga. Ain't you nothing wrong with Do the smell test for you. know, Put your hand in there, you know what I'm saying? Then, whoo. That's so all you gotta do. The smell test. If it smell, check out clean. But also, if it don't smell like clean, use some gum, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Get a little trident. Stick it up inside her walls. And then put it back in your mouth. Then go to town on. I mean, that, I haven't tried that yet. You feel me? You can try Starburst, nigga. Racy's cups. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Skittles. Uh, ring pops. You can do anything, man. Just make sure the girl, you know, clean. You know, make sure you don't stick your tongue in any type of girl as well. Make sure she take good, good care of herself. Make sure you have great hygiene. Then you should be good, homie. That's pretty much all it takes, man. As long as the girl got good hygiene, please your woman, man. If you don't eat the box, someone else will, you feel me? There ain't nothing wrong with eating the box, you know what I'm saying? If you want to eat the booty too, nigga, that's that's awesome. That's pretty much the story, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a thumbs up. Let's get this to a thousand likes. Can we do it for another story time? I'm pretty sure we can. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Subscribe to my channel. Be alright!